Today's Research Skills tutorial will focus on resource evaluation, seven quick steps you can take to assess the potential value of a resource. For the purposes of this video, we'll say we're doing a scholarly report on the psychological and physical effects of boredom. We did a quick search in the NC Live databases using only the term boredom, and here's what we found. The first thing you'll want to look at is the type of source. This icon, as well as the text, will instantly let you know if it's an academic journal, a newspaper article, an ebook, a reference book, or any other type of resource. Now, since we're doing a scholarly paper, and this is an academic journal, it's very viable as a potential source. The second thing you can look at is the title. It's a great way to get a feel for what the article is about, and you're not looking for a 100% match between topic and title, just anything that might be helpful. For our purposes, while it may seem that the article is more about the causes of boredom than our particular topic, this article probably will contain some very good background or general information that we'll definitely want to include in our paper. You should also check out the authors. Who wrote the article? Even if the names aren't instantly recognizable as leaders in the field, you can do a quick internet search for their qualifications. Titles, positions held, other papers, other research in the field are all things to look at in terms of assessing their qualifications. Now, since this is an academic journal, you can probably skip this step, but it never hurts to double check. The title of a publication will tell you a lot about its content whether or not it's intended for an academic or scholarly audience, or perhaps just for the layman. Again, we know from the icon that it is an academic journal, so we can safely assume that the information will be suited to our research. The date of publication will tell you the currency of the information. In some fields, like literature or history, the information is often timeless, but if your article concerns law, technology, or, like in our case, medicine and psychology, you may need to look at only the most recent articles. Your search results will also tell you how long the article is. While length is no indication of quality of information, uh, you can if you've already completed a lot of the information, a lot of the research, and all of the other aspects are equal you can probably elect to pass on the shorter articles since they won't offer you anything new. Finally, the subject terms. Some of the most valuable information can be found from the subjects associated with a particular article. These keywords help researchers identify and find articles on particular topics, and they can give you a great overall picture of what the article may be about. They don't all have to match, even just one that seems to coincide with your topic can be a great indicator that there's a lot of quality information to be found in this particular article. Now you'll want to look at the abstract as well as the full text of the article to get a very good feel for what it's really about, but when you're just skimming through your search results, these seven quick steps can help you easily identify potential sources and the potential discards. Thank you very much for your time and good luck with your research.